Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Windows laptop battery glitch that it suck at 100%. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would suggest is making sure you're not still connected to AC power. So make sure you're not plugged into the wall. That's certainly a potential reason why it's saying 100% because there is 100% because you're just getting constant energy loading onto your laptop. It's not really good to keep your laptop always plugged into an outlet. It kind of defeats the purpose of what a laptop is regardless. And it doesn't handle the heat as well as with a desktop generally. So that's just one thing to look into. Um, it might sound kind of obvious, but you know what? Some of you are looking for your sunglasses and they're on your head or you're looking for your keys and they're in your hands. So, you know, it can happen. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and adjust a couple settings here. Potential issues that would be causing this besides the most obvious one that I just went through. And that would entail opening up the search menu, search for control panel. Best result, should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. In the control panel items here, you want to go and select power options. And then select the change plan settings hyperlink that corresponds to whatever plan is currently selected here. And then you want to set your turn off the display and put computer to sleep. I would just recommend selecting never, at least for now, and seeing if that helps resolve the issue and kind of gets the battery to start draining a little bit or at least visually start showing the drainage. And then something else we can try here as well, go underneath uh, change advanced power settings here and scroll down. And underneath power options, so I'm on a desktop computer, so I'm not going to have a battery section, but in your case, there should be something that says battery. You click the plus sign next to it to expand the dropdown. And then there would be two follow-up dropdowns. There's one that says critical battery notification and then critical battery action. You would go underneath where it says critical battery action, click the little plus sign next to that. And then there would be two options on battery and plugged in. They both might be set to hibernate or something else. It might be off or on. Set both of them to hibernate. So again, click the plus sign next to battery. Then click the plus sign next to critical battery action. And then there will be something that says on battery as well as plugged in. And there's going to be blue text next to both of those entries. Click inside of those entries in there. So it'll appear as blue text kind of like this. Just for click inside of here. And you would set it to hibernate. And then once you're done, you would just go ahead and select apply and OK to save the change. And that's all you would have to do. And one final thing, probably doesn't hurt, would be to open up the search menu one more time. Type in device manager. Best result, should come back with device manager here. Go ahead and open that up. You want to double click on the batteries entry in here. Right click on your battery listed in here and then select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers. And then select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then select next, close out of here. And then once that's done, go ahead and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point of issue should have been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.